In this video, I explain classification of power plant and I also explain what is base load plant, peak load plant, central plant and captive power plant in the detail in this video. So first classification is on the basis of fuel use. Okay. And first one is the steam power plant. Okay. Means first we burn the any fuel like as the coal or wood and they produce the heat energy. This heat energy is supplied to the water and water is converted into a steam and this steam is supplied in turbine. So in the turbine mechanical energy is produced and with the turbine generator is connected. So generator is produce the electricity. Second diesel power plant. So diesel is the one form of the chemicals. Okay, so by burning this diesel we produce heat energy and this heat energy is converted into the mechanical energy and then after electricity is produced means electrical energy is produced. Third one is the gas turbine power plant means gas is used. Okay, so this gas is produced heat energy and then this heat energy is supplied to the turbine. In turbine mechanical energy is produced. They supplied to the generator and electricity is produced. Fourth one is the nuclear power plant. So from this nuclear the heat energy is produced. So by using this heater heat energy water are heated. This water is supplied to the turbines and turbine is produced mechanical energy and then after this mechanical energy is supplied to the generators and electricities are produced okay not only the water is supplied so okay that is a different types of the nuclear power plants are available so okay so in a, some power plants water is used in a, some power plants turbine is used okay or some other metals are also used or a, some inert gas are also used fifth one is the hydroelectric power plants hydro means water okay so by using the waters we run the turbine Turbine produce mechanical energy. This mechanical energy is supplied to the generators and electricity is produced means electrical energies are produced. Second classification is according to the mobility of plant. Mobility of the plant means the plant is movable or a fix. So first is stationary power plant. Stationary means plant are not move from one place to another place. They are fixed at the one location. It is called as the stationary power plant second one is the mobile power plant mobile power plant means we can easily move it from one place to another place so generally these types of the power plant are installed in a truck or a trolley so we can easily move it from the one place to another place third classification is according to the nature of load so according to nature of load two points are there first one is the base load and second one is the peak load so about the base load and peak load we understand in a detail after completing this classification. Fourth classification is according to the nature of organization. According to the nature of organization it is a central power plant and captive power plant. So now we understand these four words in a detail base load, peak load, central and captive. Now before moving on that I request you to like the video. Subscribe my channel for watching the more video of power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering. For more video various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car or you will visit the playlist. Now what is the base load power plant? When capacity factor of the plant is greater than 57% then the power plant is known as the base load power plant. Okay means suppose the power plant have a capacity of 1000 megawatt okay means power plant is able capable to produce 1000 megawatt power in one year okay and we can run or we can utilize its capacity up to the 57 percent then it is called as the base load power plant now what is the capacity factors capacity factor is the ratio of average power of generating plant means how amount of the power is produced by the power plant it is called as the average power of generating plant to the means divided by rated power over a given time intervals means suppose we are manufacturing some small power plants it's have a capacity of 100 megawatts okay and they are producing the 57 megawatts power okay then the 57 divided by 100 so we get the answer 57 percentage okay that means it is a base load power plant. So this power plant is a large capacity plant means this power plant is large capacity plant 
and working average more than 5000 full power hours working per year means in a one years the power plant is run more than 5000 hours then it is called as the base load power plants okay suppose we calculate in the calculators okay so in a one day 24 hours is there okay and in a one year 365 days is there so total 8760 hours are in a year okay and suppose we need uh, we need to satisfy these conditions of the 57 percent then we need to multiply these total hours by 57 okay then we get this answer is 4993.2 means it is near to the 5000 hours okay means any power plant run more than 5000 hours in a year then it is called as the base load power plant and this base load power plant is the high capacity power plant and it's a required higher capital cost means initial cost of this base load power plant is higher because they are created in a larger capacity okay but initial cost is high but its operating cost are lower means for running the power plant we are required a lower cost an example of the base load power plant are thermal means steam power plant hydroelectric power plant and the nuclear power plants are the examples of the base load power plant means this power plant is run more than 5000 hours in a years okay then and then it is called as the base load power plant second one is the peak load power plant so when this capacity factor of the power plant is less than 23 percent the power plant is known as the peak load power plants okay so in a base load what is the criteria it is capacity factor is 57 percent here the in a peak load power plants the it is a less than 23 percent this plant is a small capacity plant okay in a base load what we study it's have the higher capacity peak load have a small capacity plant and the working average is less than 2000 full power hours per year okay so we know in a one year total hours are 8760 and they are multiplied with the 23 percent means they are multiplied with the 0.23 and we get the answer it is a 2000 full hours okay so they are running the less than 2000 hours in a year then it is called as the peak load power plants this plant is operated only to meet the power demand at a time of maximum demand commonly during the extreme summers and extreme winter means this peak power plant are start only when these power demand are higher like is in the summer seasons and extremely winter seasons okay so in the india what we face in the summer seasons we are feeling the very hot environments okay and we are using the air conditioning system okay so all the pupils are using the air conditioning system starting the air conditioning that what happens the load on the power plant is increased okay so our power plants are not capable to supplying the above the average demands okay so we need to start the few of the power plants they are designed it for only the peak load okay so at that time this peak load power plant is started okay so here extreme winter is mentioned in the foreign countries where the very low temperature are there and they are used the heater for heating the rooms okay that's why here the extreme winter what is also mentioned this plant require less investment cost but high operating cost Okay, because the capacity of this peak load power plant is lower okay that's why its investment are lower but for running it the high operating costs are required the diesel power plant gas turbine power plant and the pump storage hydroelectric power plants are commonly used as a peak load plant okay so these are the examples of the peak load plant diesel gas turbines and the pump storage hydroelectric and what is the examples of the base load power plant it is a steam power plant hydroelectric power plants and the nuclear power plants are examples of base load now next we understand the other two words that is a central power station the power plant are large capacity plant and generate electric power for general sale to all the consumers central power plant means the power plant are installed for supplying the power to all the consumers all the consumer means they are supply power to the industries they supply the power to the residentials they are supplying the power for the commercial use okay it is called as the central power station means 
एट द अवर होम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आर कमिंग ओके दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल पावर स्टेशन कंज्यूमर मे बी फॉर्म ऑफ पब्लिक बिजनेस और इंडस्ट्रीज द कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस पावर प्लांट आर वेरी हाई बट ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट आर लो बिकॉज इट्स साइज आर वेरी लार्ज ओके डेट्स वाई इट्स इनिशियल कॉस्ट इज हाई बट ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट आर लो दीज प्लांट आर सेटअप बाय द स्टेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड सेंट्रल एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट पब्लिक सेक्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक द एन टी पी सी एन टी पी सी मीन्स नेशनल थर्मल पावर कॉर्पोरेशन नेशनल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कॉर्पोरेशन एन एच पी सी एंड पब्लिक और प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स कंबाइंडेड नाउ वॉट इज अ कैप्टिव पावर प्लांट दीज टाइप्स ऑफ द पावर प्लांट आर रन बाय मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फॉर इट्स ओवन यूज and its output is not available for general sales okay I mean suppose i have one industries okay and i am not purchasing the power from the my local state government or a state electricity boards but i install my own power plant okay and my power plant is producing some electricity and this electricity is used by only my industries then it is called as the captive power plants captive power plant set by the cooperative society of the company for their own use okay so these words are important own use we are producing our powers then we are called as the captive power plants so own use or for supply of powers to the neighborhood industries okay so they are also supplied to power to neighborhood industries okay not but in a large quantity but in a smaller quantities in the gujarat ioc ongc reliance industries have their captive power plants okay so that's a lots of companies they have their over power plants okay and they are use it electricity for their power plant they are not purchasing the electricity from the state electricity board means what are the basic difference for the central and the captive in a centrals the electricity produce is sell to all consumers consumers means public business industries or for the commercial purpose what is the meaning of captive we power produced by the power plant is used by only own use okay means some reliance industries is install one power plants and this uh, electricity is produced only the reliance company okay then it is called as the captive power plant so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends